Hello, my name is Lizette Schott, and I'm here to talk about the difference between FastPass Plus and FastPass Legacy, and why the FastPass Plus system is better. The average family of four spends a year's worth of savings to come to the Magic Kingdom for just a few days of vacationing. It is considered an extremely important trip to most families, and in the past two years, there's been a system devised that has helped families get through lines quicker, and therefore spend more time together. The original system was called the Legacy System. It had a few flaws, but it did provide the groundwork for what became the FastPass Plus system. FastPass Plus is better than the Legacy System. FastPass Plus was designed, like I said, to increase time spent with family and less time spent in line. The original FastPass, as you can tell by just the logo alone, was designed to be a quick and easy process that was paperless. The only issue, as you can see with Donald running through the logo, is that in order to get your fast passes originally, talking about four years ago, you had to enter the park and mad dash to the first ride you wanted, put all your park tickets in, and be printed out a time. That time could be, depending on how many people got to you before, got to the kiosk before you, two hours from then, three hours from then, or right away. You then rode the ride and mad dash to the next one. There was a lot of running and it was a big safety concern. There was also a lot of limited fast passes because you just cannot fit in all the things you wanna do going one at a time. Uh, the old versus new system. The old system was paper tickets. You had a specific time that was given to you. Doesn't matter if you had lunch reservations or anything, that was the time you got. The kiosks were located at each individual ride. So if your first ride of choice was Splash Mountain, which is one of the more popular rides, you would get to that first and maybe have a return time for that later in the afternoon. You could only have one fast pass going at a time. The new system is more hands-on. You have access to more rides, you have access to pre-booking, and it's a lot more people friendly. The new system provided cast members at every location to help you work through it. The new system also has a online function of pre-booking that makes everything fly more smooth. Some common myths and facts. Myth number one is that you don't get as many fast passes with the new system as you do with the old system. Myth number two is that fast pass costs more than the legacy system did, which was free. And myth number three is that there are not as many options with fast pass plus as there were with the legacy system. All of these myths are completely not true. As you can see with this graph, uh, which is provided by Ulf Summer um, from the Touring Considerations and the Unofficial Guide in 2012, um, your average fast passes for one day for a family of four was four. There was run time, waiting in line, and times where there were just no fast passes available. If you look at the graph on the side to the right, the average is now seven to eight and a half rides is what Disney actually strives for. Um, there is a lot less waiting in line and a lot more rides actually being achieved, which means happier guests. Myth number two is cost. This is completely priceless. There is no price put on it. It is included in your park admission as it always has been. Uh, the legacy system was also free, so there is no difference here. Myth number three is attractions being limited. As you can see from this graph, there are no limited attractions. There's probably five times more attractions per park than there were on the legacy system. Um, the other cool thing about the FastPass Plus system over the legacy system is you have access to specialty events. Wishes fireworks, Fantasmic, parades, spectaculars are all things that you can fast pass now where originally there was no access to that. I'm going to go through a live demo of exactly how easy it is to make your fast passes in advance. This is provided by the itinerary and plans on waltdisneyworld.go um, backslash my Disney experience. It starts with just a quick sign in. You're going to sign in using your account and password of which you load your tickets to. Click My Disney Experience. Click Make Selections under the FastPass tab. Click all the people you want. In this case, I've selected four people, including myself. Click the park and the time, or park and date you want to go. Very simple. Hit Next. 
select which rides you want to do. I've picked Small World, Space Mountain, and Splash Mountain. It's going to give you four options. Option number one is the best option. It's going to give you a range of times that will work for you. Option two is going to give you times that are later in the afternoon. So if you're not showing up until the evening and you want fast passes then, this is a good option for you. Option three spaces them out over the afternoon, which is good if you don't plan on getting to the parks early and you want to kind of sleep in. Option number four is spread out a little more evenly over the evening. And we're gonna pick this one just because I know my friends are not gonna to wanna to ride Splash Mountain in the middle of the day. They're gonna to wanna to do that last. Get wet and then leave the park. Congratulations, you now have fast passes. Click on my itinerary and it'll show you exactly what you have and the times you have it. You can also go back to the main screen and make any changes to rides individually, to times, cancel them entirely. And if some members want to do some things and others want to do other things, you can change that as well. You have complete access to everything, including spacing your fast passes out around lunch reservations and dinner reservations. So what would you rather do? Run like crazy, have limited availability, lack of options and waiting in line after line. You can see here, 240 minute wait time for Anna and Elsa. Not exactly what I would want to do for my day. Or would you rather no running, no hassle, tons of options, unlimited spectaculars, no waiting in line, and more family time. For me, the idea of just skipping the lines and spending time actually seeing my kids have fun on the rides, especially if I'm spending that much money to go on this vacation, is what I would choose. Simple, easy, FastPass Plus, better than FastPass Legacy.